For your health today, we are smack dab in the middle of cold and flu season. And for parents of little ones, you know this is the time of year kids are more prone to ear infections. Joining me today to learn more is Dr. Tim Martin. He's a pediatric ear, nose, and throat doctor. Thank you so much for joining us. Ear infections are so painful for kids. Yes, and it's the time of year where kids are getting more upper respiratory infections. And, and so with more upper respiratory infections comes more ear infections. How do you treat ear infections? What's the best way to treat them? Well, it sort of depends on the kid. Uh, you really have to take into account what's going on with the child. Uh, obviously, the, if the kid's sicker, you're going to be more apt to treat with uh, antibiotic medication. If a child's not terribly sick from them, a lot of the time we will watch and wait and, and see if it's going to progress to a more severe infection. Uh, obviously, you want to try and avoid uh, medications if you can. Uh, kids that get infections very frequently oftentimes end up in my office uh, and we talk about options related to surgery to help keep the ears from getting infected with ear tubes uh, and that's sort of the range of how you take care of it. And certainly kids complain when they have an ear infection because it is so painful. Right. So what are some of, the, of some of the symptoms of ear infection? Pain's a big one. Uh, you know, kids that are very uncomfortable, kids that, that don't talk yet will oftentimes show signs of just pulling at their ears. Uh, they'll have trouble hearing. You'll find pain, the big one. Kids that don't talk yet will just cry. Uh, and that's a big, a big part of it. Occasionally, you'll see some fluid draining from the ear, although that's pretty obvious when it, when it happens. And because uh, some kids are more prone to get them more often, you know, what can parents do if they have one of these kids who get ear infections frequently? Well, you're going to talk with your pediatrician or your family practice doctor. They're going to be the first person who's helping you through this, and, and they're a great resource, and so that's a great place to start. A lot of the time they'll send you over to someone like me uh, and we'll talk about our options uh, and what can be done. Sometimes it's treating a little more aggressively with medication. Sometimes it's progressing to having ear tubes inserted, uh, which is a surgery and, uh, and something that is, is what I say is a temporary solution to a temporary problem. Uh, it's something that is meant to just get a child to the point where they've outgrown the problem. Um, Obviously, if, if you have something where the child's really uncomfortable, we've really focused on treating pain. Uh, you, should, you should definitely be treating a child's pain with uh, most of the time over-the-counter pain medications and, and things like that. Um, we try and stay away from things that you apply to the ear. Uh, pain medication drops are not all that effective. Uh, so you, you really take the, what the child's sort of showing you and you treat based on what, what they have. So just that time of year, something we have to deal with. Unfortunately, yes. All right. Well, thank you, Dr. Tim Martin. Really appreciate you coming here and sharing that. It's very helpful information for parents. And if you'd like more information, you can contact the Children's Hospital of Wisconsin's ENT Clinic by calling 414-266-2982.